I'm rethinking the way that students encounter learning spaces. Uh, if there's anything that this year has really made clear to me, it's that the physical space in which learning happens has an enormous impact on how that learning happens. And uh, so in the future, I'm going to think very closely and uh, critically about the kinds of spaces in which learning happens and um, hopefully be able to make some suggestions for how we can continue to improve those as we continue to develop. I am rethinking my hesitation to put some tools into the classroom that I've been wanting to put in. For example, there's a student engagement leaderboard that allows students to earn points by participating or for answering questions, for helping people out. This is something I've thought about for a decade, so that's, I'm really excited about that, that particular uh, tool. I'm thinking or rethinking about allowing students more choice. Uh, giving them a different way if, because, you know, this particular one requires them to come in early, come in late, form teams, mm -hmm. share the work. I mean, it has a lot of really positive features, but for some students, it's too rigid in terms of the time schedule. So I'm rethinking, do I want to give them some choice to have a different project that, that, that they may then name, but it's kind of open-ended. What I'm rethinking right now is really my own approach to teaching. That I want my teaching to be more evidence-based, that I don't just try new things and just from hearsay or from how I feel um, continue with that, but I really want to involve the students in kind of shaping that, so really asking the students for, for their experience and what works for them and then take these directions on.